Hello everyone. Greeting to all. Myself, Dr. Rajat Sheikh, Department of Radio Diagnosis, Government Medical College and Hospital, Nagpur. I'm going to present my paper on topic coronary angiography with 256 slice multi-detector CT machine, its advantages, associated artifacts and their problem solving techniques. Let's go to the introduction. Ischemic heart disease is the leading cause of death in India as well as worldwide. The management basically depends upon physiological significance of coronary artery stenosis. The coronary artery uh, disease is a progressive disease. If left untreated, there is mortality rate of 1% in chronic stable angina patients. The gold standard investigation to assess the coronary arteries is a still invasive coronary angiography, but it is invasive, expensive and time consuming and it has a high risk of vascular access site complications. It also gives limited information on composition of atherosclerotic plaques and has a 0.15% mortality rate and 1.5% morbidity rate. As compared to that, CT coronary angiography is a non-invasive and less time-consuming technique. The scan can be done within 12 to 15 seconds. It reveals the complete arterial anatomy, also provides the information regarding the luminal narrowing and characterization of a calcific plaques. Thus, currently, the multi -seat MDCT coronary angiography is considered as a promising alternative tool to invasive coronary angiography, especially in the low to intermediate risk coronary artery disease patients. The aims and objective of this paper were to establish the role of CT coronary angiography in evaluation of coronary arteries in ischemic heart disease patients, to diagnose and characterize the calcific plaques, detect the various coronary artery anomalies, and discuss various artifacts and their problem solving techniques. In the research plan, the study is conducted in tertiary care hospital in central India uh, with, within the duration of 1.5 years with the sample size of 75 patients. All the patients with chest pain and suspected ischemic heart disease were included in the study along with the patients which were not adequately evaluated by invasive coronary angiography were included in the study. The patient with atrial fibrillation, unstable angina, hypersensitivity to contrast material, renal disease, heart failure, the, these patients were excluded from the study. The study was done with the help of Philips Brilliance I-256 slice MDCT machine. For the scan, the patient was kept uh, NBM for 4 to 6 hours. The proper clinical history has been taken with correlation of KFT, ECG and 2D ECO reports. The optimal heart rate was obtained by giving the beta blocker, which uh, the optimal heart rate was below 72 beats per minute. The patient uh, kept supine with fit first position. The ECG lifts were fixed to the chest for ECG gating and patient was asked for proper breath hold during the scan. The CT coronary angiography has a two parts. Obtaining a, The first part is for obtaining coronary calcium score, which was done with the help of ECG gated non-contrast CT scan. And the second part is coronary angiography. Uh, which was done with the help of administration of IV contrast at the rate of 5 to 7 uh, ml per second. Uh, the CT coronary angiography can be pro uh, performed prospectively and uh, with the help of a retrospective acquisition. Prospective, uh, the prospective acquisition done in the patients of, with a normal heart rate and the retrospective acquisition was done in the patient with uh, arrhythmias and higher heart rate patients. Uh, the retrospective acquisition has a side effect of more radiation exposure. The CT coronary angiography aids in a direct visualization of coronary artery anatomy and the plaques, which are further classified as non-calcified or soft plaques, partially calcified plaques, and completely calcified plaques. The soft lipid-rich plaques tends to have a lower attenuation than the soft fibrous plaques. The lower density plaques, which are less than 30 HU, has been described as a vulnerable plaques, and they have a higher risk of rupture. Uh, the other features of high-risk plaques are soft calcification, presence of a uh, positive remodeling, and napkin, napkin ring sign. The napkin ring sign refers to a plaque with a central hypoattenuation area surrounded by the high attenuation rim. CT angiography images were analyzed for plaque and coronary stenosis according to a cadrat system and graded accordingly from uh, non-calcified uh, non to the uh, completely occluded uh, arteries. The 256 slice multi-detector CT scan has an excellent spatial resolution and which can detect artery plaques with a high sensitivity of 94% and the specificity of 83% as compared to the invasive coronary angiography. The accuracy is 95% for detection of coronary artery stenosis, but the greatest strength of a CT coronary angiography lies in it's excellent negative predictive value, which is about 99%. The common challenges were the common artifacts, 
which were cardiac motion artifact due to high rate and arrhythmia of the patient, calcium glooming artifact and beam hardening artifact. These were tackled by giving a oral, oral or IV beta blocker to lower the heart rate and removing the data collected on ectopic bits with ECG editing software, uh, preferring a retrospective acquisition for arrhythmia, arrhythmia patients and using iterative reconstruction algorithm to reduce the calcium blooming artifact. And uh, uh, the contrast injection was followed by saline bolus chaser. The observation of these studies are the most of the patients included in the study were males and were between 51 to 60 years. Uh, the most common symptom was typical, typical angina. And the important risk factor were hypertension, smoking, and followed by diabetes. On CT coronary angiography, the most patient had right coronary artery dominance on the uh, coronary circulation. As the heart rate increased, the accessible coronary artery segment decreased. The most patient were with calcium score zero. Uh, the most atherosclerotic plaque were calcified plaque. And patient with uh, in the patient with typical angina with increased grade of stenosis. The left anterior descending artery was most commonly involved for calcified plaques. And as the calcium score increased, the grade of stenosis and clinically significant lesions were increased. The most common artifact which was encountered is a motion artifact. Uh, in the summary, uh, these are the observation of the study. And as a result, or the take home points are two, the 256 slice MDCT angiography machine provides high accuracy for non invasive detection and detection of a suspected uh, obstructive coronary artery disease. The procedure is safe and simple and can be completed within 12 to 15 seconds. Uh, the procedure is useful, reliable and can be an alternative to diagnose, diagnostic invasive coronary angiography, especially in the patients with low to intermediate risk for the localization of the coronary artery stenosis. Uh, it has a potential application of or to rule out the obstruction in coronary artery disease, especially in patients who present with atypical chest pain to, into the emergency ward and the patient with inconclusive uh, stress test. It can, it can be a promising non-invasive tool to detect coronary artery stenosis to assess and to assess the total plaque burden, uh, the number of lesions, the location of the lesion, calcification status, and characterization, which shows superior prognostic impact, uh, may, uh, more, just more than the uh, lesion quantification. It also, de uh, also detects the anomalous origins of the coronary artery stenosis, which can be an important uh, uh, important important information uh, prior to the DSA angiography, and it also has a advantage of simultaneous visualization of uh, cardiac anatomy and associated cardiac pathology before the before any cardiac intervention. Here are, uh, here are a few cases. Uh, the first case is uh, showing a non calcified non calcified plaque, which is causing around approximate fifty percent stenosis in proximal left anterior descending artery. In the second case, uh, there are multiple calcified and eccentric plaques which are involving the middle segment of left anterior descending artery and causing approximately 60% luminal narrowing, uh, the, which were further confirmed on the DSA angiography. In the third case, there is anomalous origin of a left coronary artery from the right cusp and which is uh, coursing between the uh, aortic origin and pulmonary aorta, which is known as a malignant course. In the uh, fourth image, uh, there is anomalous origin of left circumflex artery from the uh, right coronary cusp. In the uh, 65 year uh, field, uh, this is the case of 65 year male, uh, which is uh, which has a history of post MI and the stent in C2, C2 and which further uh, presented with acute chest pain into the emergency department and follow with the CT coronary angiography showed a partial stenosis. Uh, in a, just distal to the stent. The sixth case is of uh, anomalous origin of a left coronary uh, artery from the uh, pulmonary artery, also known as Alcapa syndrome. These are the few important references. And I uh, thank you. I thank uh, City Bus for giving me the opportunity. And I, I also want to uh, give my uh, thanks to Dr. Jawahar Rathor, sir, who is my guide and a co-author for this research. Thank you very much.